manifestation of compulsory taqlid of the fallible, part 2. To the usulis, taqlid is a belief. Sheikh al mudaffars book, which is a book taught in the houses of Qom and Najaf, he says in the beliefs of Imamiyyah, who is not a mujtahid or muhtatan, takes precautionary measures and does not make taqlid of a mujtahid who is all-encompassing of the conditions of being a mujtahid, all of his worship acts are void, they are not accepted. Beliefs of the Imamiyyah, Aqa'id al-Imamiyyah, page 33. A belief for an usuli must satisfy such conditions. An authentic chain of narrators for the report. Decisive, muhkam verse and not allegorical. Clear cut in authenticity through its evidence from the content and its issuance from the imam. For mutawatir ma'nawi, frequently reported in meaning and not khabarahad, solitary report, which doesn't provide knowledge. Now, there is this hadith that they use called Maqbulat ibn Hanbala to prove that it's compulsory to follow the marja, the fallible marja. They say that this hadith licenses general guardianship to the jurisprudent because it says, Look at whoever from amongst you reporting our hadith and has looked into our halal and haram and knows our rulings Accept him as an arbitrator, a hakim. Volume 7, page 412, Al Kafi, Hadith 5. Sayyid Al Khui, who was a marja, said about the narrator Ibn Hanbala The report is weak from Umar Ibn Hanbala. There is nothing about his trustworthiness or praise. Even if it was called Al Maqbula, the accepted one, which was as such from the companions, there is no proof of that. Book of Ijtihad and Taqlid, page 143. Now, another argument that they use is a sira al aqalaiya the rational path. Why? Because it says that according to reason, the mind rules that the ignorant one must go to the knowledgeable one. Now, this is correct. We go to the knowledgeable one in religion, the infallible. He takes his knowledge from the absolutely knowledgeable, 100%, free of assumption and conjectures, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So now... Does the mind accept that an ignorant one in religion should refer to the person who bases ijtihad, conjectural methods, for his rulings, while knowing that there can be an eternal punishment for taking rulings that are based on conjecture because it's possible that they could be wrong? Even a 99% possibility is not certainty. So the mind doesn't accept this. So it's not rational. It's irrational. Another argument that they put forth is that they say Zakaria son of Adam, Mufadl son of Umar, Abban son of Taghlib, the Imam commanded the Shias to go to them and take their rulings. This means that the Marja'iyah system has been established already, meaning the Taqlid, the compulsory Taqlid of the fallible has been established already. Now, firstly, Number one, they were direct narrators from the imams, peace be upon them. Number two, the imams were not absent, but present among them. Number three, they received authorization from the imams to report to the Shias, their hadiths, meaning the hadiths of the imams, peace be upon them. So what does this have to do with the maraja? Number one, the Maraja haven't received an authorization from Imam al-Mahdi to make people follow them and take their fatwas. This is concerning the long absence of Imam al-Mahdi in the time of the long absence. So does him being silent mean tacit approval? No. Number two. When Imam al-Mahdi, peace be upon him, said, go to the narrators of our hadith, he was referring to the ambassadors because they were direct narrators from Imam al-Mahdi, peace be upon him. Just like the Imam's companions, as we mentioned, and the tawqiyah epistle from the Imam according to the usuli standards is weak. So how can they consider this a belief? Sayyid Khomeini says about it, weak in Senad, Ijtihad and Taqlid, page 100. Sayyid Khomeini says it falls short in Senad and Evidence, volume 2, page 83 in the Book of Fasting. Now, they use also this hadith. And upon the common people is to imitate him. 
فللعوامي أن يقلدوا from the book of Al-Ijtihad and Tafsir Al-Askari peace be upon him Sayyid Al-Khu'i said the report from Al-Ijtihad meaning the book of Al-Ijtihad by Al-Tabrasi it is a report with a disconnected chain of narrators Mursila it can't be relied upon Sayyid Al-Khu'i also said the narration is weak in Sanad book of Ijtihad and Taqlid page 81 and pages 221 and 222. Now, Hur al-Amali said about taqlid, the permitted taqlid here is accepting the report, not the opinion, ijtihad, and assumption. This is clear. Fusa' al-Shia, volume 72, page 131 to 132, volume 18, page 94. Additionally speaking, the hadith says, Lil Awam for the common people, not Ala Al Awam on the common people, which doesn't imply that it's compulsory. Now, the other thing is that there's this verse in the Holy Quran that they say it's also referring to the scholars, and that we need to go to the scholars uh, because they are the most knowledgeable people. They use this verse. They say, and it is not for the believers to go forth all at once, for there should separate from every division of them a group, remaining to obtain understanding in the religion and warn their people when they return to them that they might be cautious. Chapter 9, verse 122. Now, Imam Sada, peace be upon him, after reciting this verse, he says, he commanded meaning the Muslims, to go to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him and progeny. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding the Muslims to go to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him and his progeny, to learn and then return to their people and return to their people and teach them. al al Shara, volume 1, page 85. And also in another hadith from Abdul A'la, he said to Imam al-Sadiq, peace be upon him, that if we, like if news reached that an imam has died, what do we do? The imam responded, Alaykum an nafir. Qult an nafir jami'an, meaning that upon you is to, is to go. So all of us should go. So the imam recited the verse, and it is not for the believers to go forth all at once. For there should separate from every division of them a group remaining to obtain understanding in the religion and warn their people when they return to them that they might be cautious. So this means that not all of them should go to the, the imam, peace be upon him. Because here it's talking about the imam after when he dies, they should also go to the imam, but not all of them should go to that imam. That a group should go to the imam and get or obtain knowledge, understanding in the religion. This is in the book of Al al Ashara' by Sheikh al-Saduq, page 591, hadith number 42. It's not talking about the scholars, rather, it's talking about the imam's death going to the next imam uh, after his death or the next imam. Now, they also use this hadith. The scholars of my nation are better or of equal rank to the prophets of the children of Israel. They use this hadith to prove that we must go to the scholars and we must make taqlid of the scholars who are as we know, we know that they are fallible, but we still, we must make taqlid of them. Now, according to their usuli standards, it's a weak hadith. But for the sake of argument, if we were to accept it, this is referring to Ahl al-Bayt, peace be upon them. In the ziyarah of Imam al-Husayn, peace be upon him. Peace be upon you, O inheritor of Adam, Safwatillah. Like, Assalamu alayka ya waritha Adam, Safwatillah. Assalamu alayka ya waritha Nuh, Nabiyillah. Assalamu alayka ya waritha Isa, Ruhillah, Assalamu alayka ya warith Ibrahim, Khalilillah, Assalamu alayka ya warith Musa, Kalimullah, Assalamu alayka ya warith Muhammad, Habibullah. So Imam al Hussein, peace be upon him, is uh, an inheritor of Adam, Nuh, Ibrahim, Isa, 
موسى محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم and Imam al peace be upon him said we are the scholars so scholars in this hadith is referring to Muhammad and the family of Muhammad we are the scholars as in Al-Kafi volume 1 page 51 now they also use this verse in chapter 16 verse 43 so ask the people of remembrance if you do not know fas'alu ahla dhikr in kuntum la ta'lamun Sayyid al khuwi said about the verse it can't be used as evidence to permit taqlid in the book of ijtihad and taqlid page 90 Imam Ali son of al Hussein and Imam al Baqir peace be upon them they said we are the people of remembrance volume 17 page 283 to 284 Mustadrak al-Wasal by Mirza Nuri and also in the book Jam al Hadith al Shia, volume 1, page 178 by Sheikh al Burujurdi. And also, some use this verse to ascribe authority to the scholars O you who have believed, obey Allah and obey the Messenger and those in authority among you. In chapter 4, verse 59. Burayda son of Muawiyah reports from Imam Abi Jafar, peace be upon him, after reciting this verse, he says, Obey Allah and obey the Messenger and those vested with authority. And those vested with authority, it is specifically meant to be about us. This is in Bihar Lanwar, volume 23, 289 to 290.